Howdy everyone, Tom here from Typeset, and today I'm going to welcome you to the first episode of Just Start Typing. This is going to be a series uh, we're making here at Typeset to show you how to go from scratch to a finished product in Typeset, uh, no matter what you want to make. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and <clears throat> lay out what we're going to make today. So today I'm going to put myself in the shoes of a a business coach and consultant who is making a sales deck, um, so a presentation type slideshow, and it's it's really to pitch my services, and um, the audience is marketing agencies. All right, so let's go ahead and start with a new deck. All right, um, and I'm going to say this is give this title business coaching and consulting okay perfect great hit enter there got my first slide up all right and before i go further though um i would want to uh make sure that i have some of these settings set the way that you know i, I want them to um but also uh, if i want to make it branded then I want to make sure that I have uh, all of my, my brand assets um, in here. Uh, for this one, I'm just going to do a, a basic <clears throat> sort of black and white themed um, uh, presentation here. So uh, in this drawer down here on the left, I see some immediate um, like sort of remixes of my slide. So I have this one here, business coaching and consulting. That looks great. It's, it's got an image there. I'm going to go ahead and add with Tom Snyder down here at the bottom. And make sure I get my capitalizations correct. Uh, and I should say prepared for, um, you know, whatever the name of the marketing agency is. Marketing agency. Okay, perfect. And <clears throat> now instead of going back to my mouse, or my trackpad to get a new slide, slide down, uh, whatever. I'm just gonna hit Command and Enter. And that's gonna bring up a new a sort of page here on the left. Um, and you can see a blank page there in the preview window on the right. But I'm gonna stay working into the editor because then I could just stay on my keyboard and it's gonna you know, help me to work a little bit faster than rather having to switch keyboard, mouse, keyboard, mouse, back and forth. All right, so this uh, first, First slide, what I want to do is I want to talk about the problem that uh, most marketing agencies uh, will, it, you know, realize is that they um, they have quite a few problems. So let's go ahead and make a bulleted list. And let's say, let's rename this to problems. And then they have trouble getting, trouble getting work into the pipeline. Okay, that's one problem. Trouble getting work into the pipeline. Another one is keeping good employees. And another one is uh, reducing iterations on client work, right? Uh, from marketing agency, I'm like, okay, here's the finished product. And they're like, can we get a it look a little different? And then again, and again, again, right. Okay, so those are some, those are some problems. And um, I'm going to hit Command Enter and get a new slide up here. I'll drag my little face over here. All right. And so what, what, what's wrong with those problems, right? This is creating a, a story arc for my sales presentation, right? I don't just want to go in and say, this is what I can do. And uh, this is how much I charge, and that's it. You know, I, I really want to create a story, create the problem, and then get the client to under or my potential client to understand like that is a problem. Paint the picture for them a little bit more, right? So I really want to do that up front. So those are those are some problems, and I'm going to say <clears throat> these problems lead to dot dot dot. And then I'm gonna add down here, um, lower profit. And I'm gonna add an image. 
All right. And let's look for an image. I don't really want it to be problem sent problem focused. Um, yeah, let's, let's make it just like, let's search for just like a sad image. You know, someone's, someone's kind of bummed. This one's funny. You know, it's got a dog. It's funny. It's probably to lower profit. Okay. That looks good. Except I want this lower profit to stand out a little bit more. So I'm going to come up here and select it as a subtitle instead of just a normal uh, paragraph text. So, okay, great. These problems lead to lower profit. And I see my, my dog is kind of a, a, a little sad there. All right. Um, okay, so that's pretty good. Now let's say that I wanted to uh, change things up a little bit. So I'm going to hit Command, Shift, and then question mark. It's going to bring up my keyboard shortcuts, right? So if you're not sure exactly um, if there's a shortcut for, you know, this or that that exists, uh, it's command, shift, and then question mark. It'll bring up your shortcut. All right, now I want to do is toggle the remix window. So that is command, shift, R. Um, so I'm going to hit command, shift, R, and it's going to bring up my remix window down here at the bottom. And I want to remix this just so that the dog is on the left, so that he's, his eyes are facing the right, uh, to the text on the right. So it looks like he's looking at that and looks like he's reading it. That's kind of a good way to arrange a, a photo uh, with image and text on the screen. All right, let's, let's make another one. All right, so let's say solution, right? So I have problem. I agitated my problem a little bit, and now I want to present a solution. And I'm gonna I'm gonna type in my business coaching and consulting. Yay! Okay, and uh, I'm gonna make this one a little bit fun. So I'm gonna add a Giphy animation here. It's already gonna populate with solution business because that's what it sort of recognized in there and you know those are a little bit boring solutions in business so i'm going to make a or i'm going to search for happy um and I, actually let's change that up. let's search for a celebrate how about that it's kind of a celebratory thing okay uh this is a good one of course everybody enjoys the office so i'll go ahead and, and include that and hit command shift r again to bring up the remix and I'm going to choose uh, that remix <clears throat> instead there. And I'm going to take this, my business coaching and consulting, and make it stand out a little bit more by making it a subtitle instead of paragraph text. Okay, great. Now add another one. And I'm going to say, meet the team. All right, and introduce you to my team that I work with. Let's say, all right, so I'm going to start with an image and team. Let's, let's search for just employee. Uh, I can find just a stock photo of, of somebody. Uh, she looks nice. Okay. And I want to insert a new line below that. And I'm going to make this just text. Uh, I'm going to say, let's say her name is Jennifer. All right. Now I'm going to select uh, with my mouse those two items and I'm going to go up here to the little top bar and I'm going to uh, hit this button that says create group and you see how now it kind of um, indented that over here and I'm going to hit this button so it's going to duplicate the group and I'm going to replace this one with or this picture, this picture, all right. And I'm going to say this person's name is Amy. I'm going to duplicate that again and do it again. So I can do this for like my entire team without it, wh whoever's on that team. So makes uh, creating this sort of team slide um, very, very easy. Let's say I have a male employee as well. Uh, this guy looks okay. All right. And um, let's name him Jim, like Jim Halper. We're still going on the office, I guess. Okay, great. So there's meet the team, 
Um, and if I wanted to add, let's say if I wanted to, you know, make, make Jennifer's name a subtitle and then below it some normal text and call her like an account executive. And you could see the way that it shows up <clears throat> uh, here in the preview window. Really nice. Got that bold Jennifer account executive uh, underneath it. it. It looks just great. I mean, I did not have to design any of that and it looks amazing. All right. So let's go ahead and create another slide and let's call this one prices. Okay. Um, let's call it prices, but I'm, instead of building this one from scratch, I'm going to go ahead and open up my templates library. So we're typing templates, hit enter, see if there's anything in here that might be good for like pricing or something like that. Okay. This one is for new staff, but I think that that would work, work well here. All right. I'm gonna rename the title of this slide, pricing. Um, I'm gonna get rid of that second line. And instead of saying name, I'm just gonna say hours. Uh, let's keep team, let's keep uh, team members, how many members it would take, and price. Okay, and then this last, uh, column I'll just get rid of. All right, so let's say for the first 10 hours, and then let me make this second one 20 hours, and then the second one is gonna be a real, or the last one is gonna be a really big project, uh, 10 hours. So team members, sales, and let's call this sales, and marketing, say sales, marketing, Actually, let's exclude marketing from the first one. And then from this last one, let's say sales, marketing, and coaching. All right, and then I can come over here to my last one, say, all right, so my price for 10 hours, that's gonna be $1,000. And for the second one in here, I am gonna make a little bit of a price break. So that's eighteen hundred dollars, and then fifty hours. Let's say a bigger price break, bigger price break, forty thousand dollars. Okay, all right. Put some commas in there, make it look a little nicer. Great. That's what my pricing um, looks like. All right. So now let's say I want to add another slide because I want to make them. I want to make them commit to a decision right here. I know that's not typically what we want to do is pitch and close in the same meeting. But if I did, let's say, let's say I did that. So how many hours would you like? You know, and there are other things that we might want to do to, instead of just saying like, these are the hours and not really tying that to the outcomes um, or like the actual value propositions that I offer my services might kind of fall flat. Someone might look at just the prices and evaluate on that. But if I said, hey, these are the team members that you're going to get, or these are the outcomes that you expect, your marketing agency, like, well, yes, this is our price, $1,000. But how would you like to make $5,000 more next month? How would you like to fill your pipeline for the next six months? That sort of thing, right? So you're really framing it so that you are speaking to the desires of your audience and not just talking at them, but you're talking to them. All right. So how many hours would you like? And I'm going to make this a bullet list, 10, 20, 50. All right. I'm going to select on the left side here, go under settings and make this interactive. Okay. Now, why is that? That's because whenever I show this uh, presentation live you can actually select one of these uh, selections so that way i can i can really like make them make a choice at that moment and uh, i can also uh, write it down here in the presentation and it's going to save it so that i don't have to remember what they said later or confirm or just go with word of mouth or, or whatever um okay 
And then let's make a uh, final sl slide. Any questions? And let's put my my URL in here. Let's say um, mysite.com. And let's turn that into a link. All right, mysite.com and apply. Perfect. Any questions, you can also visit that. And let's add a, a final image. Any there? Hello there. Oh, that looks cute. I uh, don't really like the way that it put that in there, though. So let's go ahead and um, just pick a different one. OK. OK, that looks great. Standard image. That one looks good. All right. so. Um, it's a very simple sales deck and uh, for business coaching and consulting. And I have the problems, agitated the problem a little bit. I offered a solution. I explained on that a little bit. Here's my team. This is where prices look like. And uh, I, I had a call to action. So even if someone's like, doesn't want to commit to a number of hours yet, at least I uh, had that call to action there and, and really made it clear that uh, these are the choices and they, they should be kind of thinking through a choice and what that looks like. And then I uh, followed up by asking if there are any questions. All right, so anyway, that is um, our first episode of Just Start Typing. Hope that you enjoyed it and I'll see you again soon.